Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to show, oh, I'm so sorry. Today, I want to show you all my Tida King's Caroline Zebra Orchid. It's fantastic. It's looking great. I'm loving the, the white flower with these extremely vibrant purple stripes. It's absolutely incredible. One of my, one, like one of my only favorite Phalaenopsis. I have a couple that are one of my faves, but but this takes the cake. So cute, so beautiful, so delicate. It's awesome. And I have another one here. So I have two, two plants currently. I have one, this one has a little bit of leaf damage on the side. So please ignore that. Um, I will get to that maybe in another video of how I treat that. Uh, it did get some damage, so I can probably make a little video of how I'm going to address that. However, I want to show the beauty of these flowers. Look at that, simply incredible. So beautiful. And like, I love how this one here is like this, it's got such tiny little stripes on it. It's so cool. Other ones, very vibrant. And of course, every flower is gonna be different. So you can see lots of stripes, lots of stripes, lots of stripes, really nice. And I did actually cross pollinate them already. So we'll see if, they, if it's successful and it will take, but really cool. Oh, this flower is just really catching my eye for some reason. Some new buds coming in. Probably in a couple more days, gonna open up. Have some more, more flowers. I don't know if I'm going to, um, I don't know if I'm going to cut one of the spikes down and see if I can get another uh, outshoot, another spike, but we will see. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. They're so cute. I mean, it's one of those orchids that really just catches your eye. Like if I was at an orchid show, or if I was just looking around at the grocery store, these would catch my eye in an instant. These are a little harder to find. I was able to find a grower that had them and, and did buy them. So thank you so much to the seller. Thank you so much for being out there because I don't think I'd be able to find these anywhere else. And so I was able to purchase them through eBay. Thank God, thank God for eBay. And I'm just so happy. This is one of my all time favorite orchids. So happy to now have them in my collection. I have had them before, but they just did not make it. They got heat damage and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna keep them out in my greenhouse in, in the 100 degree weather. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's real smart. So now I'm starting to keep them inside and much better results as you can see. So I'm just keeping them in a north facing window and they get plenty of light, plenty of filtered light and just keeping them watered regularly. And I'm also keeping them in cups. So I'm keeping them in like these glass cups here. So gotta be careful. See, this is stagnant water residue. Gotta be careful of that. Make sure you to wipe off the leaves. I haven't done that yet, but I've been keeping them in these glass cups to increase humidity. And I water them probably about, mm, let's see, about once every other day, just a little bit of water. And I make sure there's a little bit of water at the bottom too, to increase humidity levels. But I never let them dry out. I never let them get too wet. You don't want them sitting in water. But yeah, so that is it for that. Wow. So cool. Oh my God. Breathtaking. But anyways, guys, just wanted to make that quick little video for you all. I do have blooms going on all over my greenhouse at the moment. Like this just like, I got an orchid here, got the habanero radiatas, got some oleander, got a desert rose. And I'm like, I have blooms, I just have, it's like bloom central like right now. And I'm like, just trying to get videos for you guys and just trying to see uh, how many videos I can get out of it so then I can share it with y'all. But I hope y'all enjoyed my video and I know I'm kind of babbling, but I'm just really excited and I wanted you all to see it. So thank you very much guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Please make sure to like and comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos I'll be making a lot more soon. And as always, everyone, I hope you have a great day and happy growing. Thank you.